bit strange since a couple nights ago. Um, and I just, I'm not sure what's happening. It might just be kind of the frisky weather or just maybe he knows that it's this Halloween season, but I, he just hasn't been acting himself. Okay, I'll take a look at him. <sighs> Thank you. Um, but I can't really do much right here. Um, can we move him over to the kitchen post? Sure. There doesn't appear to be anything really wrong. Um, when I pet him up and down all over his body, he doesn't really mind that much. It might be because of the hay, but then again, it's fine. Um, and when I was waving my hand around his eye, he didn't flinch or anything, so that's actually very good. Um, most horses would just flinch anyways, but he's very good. Um, so I'm not sure um, what you're talking about. Well, he's a lesson horse, and lately, during the lessons, he's been kind of, um, I mean, even though he doesn't seem that frisky right now, I mean, for, for some reason in the arena, he just seems really, really jumpy. That's kind of strange. Maybe, maybe he's just irritated or something. Maybe the girth is on different? I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. How about, why don't you just, um, give him a week or two off, just kind of, um, regroup himself and just kind of um, come together and stuff, come back. Um, maybe he might need a saddle fitting, maybe he's getting pinched in the back by the saddle or something. I really have no idea what to do. But um, if you have any other problems, if something happens um, that you will know of, um, then you can call me. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Bye. Bye. Good boy, buddy. There you go. Maybe all you need is just a week off. Good boy, buddy. Here's some hay to keep you occupied. Good boy. Whoa, Stephanie, why do you have a wet blanket in your hands? I just washed Bandit's blanket, um, and so now I'm just gonna go hang it outside of his fence. Oh, okay. And if you need any help with feeding anyone or anything, then I can help you if you want. Okay. There you go, buddy. Just please try not to touch it, and whatever you do, just don't knock it over. Okay, Jill, I just put the blanket back, and so, um, do you need help with anything? Nope, I'm fine. Um, you can go ahead and go home. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Whoa, it's already starting to get a little bit dark. Okay, I think everything's good, everything's locked up. Okay, I'm gonna go turn all the lights on. There are these ones. The ghost lights are automatic, so they should be on in three, two, oh, one, there you go. Oh my goodness, it's really dark now. Okay, good night everyone. So, now that she's gone, do you guys wanna talk about something? Yes. But we are not talking about Halloween. No matter what, we're not talking about Halloween. Whether it's something happy about Halloween, we're not talking about Halloween, no matter what. Yeah, we're all pretty petrified about what happened a couple nights ago. Are you guys seriously still convinced that he was cursed? Come on, you guys know that he was probably just pranking us. He's the prankster of the barn. And the vet came over earlier and said that he was perfectly fine, mentally and physically. Right? You are an absolute daredevil. I can't believe that you don't believe that it was real. Wait, River, you definitely believe that it was real. I believe that it was real. Bibi, do you believe that it was real? Yes. By the way that he was... His eyes... It was so creepy. Um, excuse me. I thought we weren't going to talk about Halloween. <laughs> okay, River. Ooh. Ah! River, are you kidding me? It's just Penny. No, it's, it's... Penny, are you kidding me right now? Oh, come on. Your reaction was the greatest reaction ever. River, are you still believing this? I mean, come on. Rico is obviously just pranking us. He's like the prankster of the barn, right, Ray? Yeah, River, just get a grip. It's not real. Rico always pranks us, especially during Halloween. 
And he usually pranks you because you always have the best reactions. Fine, I'll go to bed then. <sighs> Me too. I'm so tired. I had a jumping lesson today. It was I haven't had a jumping lesson in a little while, so it was like the first time, so I'm kind of extremely tired. Yeah, me too. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Bennett, why don't you have your blanket on? Yeah, your human always puts blankets on you. Oh, it's hanging on the fence. Um, shouldn't it be hanging on you instead of the fence? The fence doesn't really need a blanket. Well, it's hanging on the fence because it's drying. She washed it today and still, it's still kind of wet and, you know, the dryer, it's kind of broken right now and so we have to air dry things. So she's going to let it sit tonight and then she's going to put it on me tomorrow or something. I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. Anyways, guys, I had a really big jumping lesson today, so I'm just going to go to bed. I'm so tired. Okay, good night. This seems like a good place to settle in. So girls, how was your day? It was actually so good. Today was one of the days where um, I had an off day. Stephanie gives us all off days, obviously, um, and today was my off day. So I spent the day in the pasture. It was so nice to just wind down. <laughs> Me too, it was my off day too. Lucky I was in the jumping lesson, and it, it's hard for me because, you know, you know, we all know that Luna is Chloe's favorite horse um, of her horses, which I'm her horse. So she usually rides Luna, and so she hasn't jumped me in a little bit, so I'm kind of green on all the jumping. Not necessarily, but like, you know what I mean. I haven't jumped in a little bit, so, you know. Apparently, Chloe and Luna have been training for this really high level dressage competition that they're gonna enter in like a week or two. Um, so Chloe's been trying to train up Luna and so she's been focusing more on dressage and so we haven't had a jumping lesson in weeks. So she's just been hacking me and focusing on Luna. So today was my first day back of jumping. So I'm really tired. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the hay. Okay, good night. Good night. <sighs> good night. Uh, Rico. Yeah, what's up? How did um, the vet go today? It was good. Apparently I have nothing physically or mentally wrong with me. So you guys are wrong. Oh, come on. In the last lesson that we had um, with all those lesson kids, you were very frisky. Like, you almost threw a child off of your back. Like, come on, you can't just do that. I know that there's something wrong. Not with you, but like, you know, there's something is up. I know there is something up. Yeah, Rico, I really agree with Dusk. You haven't been acting as yourself. Like, like if you're almost about to throw off a child off your back, I mean, that you're probably going to get booted off out of lessons, which, yes, it is good. But, like, come on, you definitely haven't been acting like yourself. Come on, Rico, at least agree with us. You, Maybe you do feel fine, maybe you are acting fine, but maybe that's just because you're cursed and you're possessed and you just don't know what's happening within you. Aww, Chief, thank you so much for putting it so softly that I am possessed and cursed and probably will never go back to normal. Thank you for putting that so softly. Oh please, there's no soft way to put it. Anyways, you guys, I'm super tired, so if you guys are done harassing me about this possession thing, I'm going to go to bed. Um, but we're not. Nope, sorry, I already closed my eyes. I'm already going to bed. Sorry, I'm already signing on a little. Okay, well, I guess. Good night, guys. Good night. Now I'm awake. Uh, Rico, you're supposed to be recovering or asleep in your paddock, not out on a midnight walk. Oh my goodness, it's freezing tonight. What? What did you do to my blanket? On the night of the 31st, all will be cursed, and if we fail the master, he will take us after. 
on the night of the 31st, so it will be cursed. And if we fail the master, he will take us after. Oh my god. Bandit, come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, Stephanie, seriously. You really have to... What happened to my blanket? Did you do this, Stephanie? Bandit, what did you do to your blanket? How is it ripped up? This is like literally impossible for someone to do. Oh my goodness. No, it's really nice. It looks really good with my coat. <laughs> Stephanie, what are you holding? Um, a piece of Bandit's brand new blanket that I just got him like two weeks ago. What do you mean? No horse can rip it up into shreds. <laughs> well, someone did. Come look for yourself. Oh my goodness. Is it, how is this even possible for a horse to do this? I know. It's like physically impossible for them to do it. This blanket was so expensive too. I'm so... I'm... I can't I don't even have words for this. It's so annoying. Bennett, why would you do this to your own blanket? I didn't do it. I, I swear, I didn't do it. I just woke up. <sighs> Apparently that was expensive too. Look at my blanket. Mine like barely even fits me. Yeah, neither does mine. I can't believe you do something like that. Okay, guys, I swear I did not do this. I would never rip something up. This is something that Luna... Luna. <gasps> what if Luna did it? Guys, seriously though, why would Luna want to come out here in the middle of the night... Um, in the cold, why would she want to come out just to rip up Bandit's blanket? Um, because I know for a fact she hates me. Yeah, she hates him. Why? Because one time, all of a sudden, I said, Luna, maybe you should go on a diet. You're getting a little round. Oh god, I already know that she probably put a bomb in your blanket or something. She would have killed you because of that. Yeah, well, I'm lucky she didn't. I'm lucky. If she was a jumping pony, I wouldn't even be here right now. But luckily, she can't jump. So, I'm here today. Whatever this is, it's not good. Guys, did you see what happened to Bandit's blanket? No, what happened? Look for yourself. Oh my goodness, who did that? <sighs> Oh my god, why have I been so tired lately? It was Rico. A hundred percent. It was definitely Rico. What did I do? You tore a bandit's blanket. Look over there. Oh my goodness. How is it even possible for a horse to chew that? Exactly. And you're the only one here that's possessed. So, it must be you. <sighs> Come on, I'm not possessed. Just give it up already. Okay. Well then, explain to me how a horse can do this. Okay, fine. Maybe this curse is real after all. 